if you're not used to it, a lot of bees can be very off-putting and scary. Bees are not aggressive, they're no more dangerous than a cat, a dog or a horse. And the sting is their last means of defence for the colony. A few people, and it is only a few people, that can throw a very sudden and violent allergic reaction. And it can be potentially fatal. Although I think insect bites in this country probably kill far fewer people than something like eating peanuts. If somebody sees a swarm or a colony of bees, the last thing you want to do is to go and start handling it and messing around with it. The best thing to do is just to walk away very calmly, slowly and gently. People get very frightened of bees en masse, largely due to ignorance. And the one thing there is a growing interest in is actually the therapeutic effects of bee stings for certain human conditions. My biggest problem when I'm actually doing epitherapy, or particularly bee venom therapy with somebody, is persuading a bee to sting. This is the bit of bee venom therapy that most people are very wary of. The little lady's done her job. That knee has got a little tiny hot spot in, a slight burning sensation, which will last a few minutes and then go away. But before you contemplate doing this at home, you must make sure that you've seen a doctor and got the necessary antidote kit. <laughs> Fresh honey, just as nature intended. Delicious. <laughs>